the science that we're discovering is really the science that has motivated us to continue to take measurements on Voyager 1, motivated us to launch the Interstellar Boundary Explorer spacecraft. Um, ultimately, we're able to put together a picture of where we are in the galaxy and how that environment then influences our environment right here at home. Um, in particular, the radiation environment, which has implications for all sorts of things, including um, human exploration of space. So what does this mean then? Well, first of all, the, the medium that Voyager 1 is in appears to be a special medium that's still partially controlled by these protective boundaries. The magnetic field that's coming in from the galaxy is essentially warped and deflected around the protective boundaries like a, like a, a rubber band being bent around a beach ball. Um, as Voyager 1 gets further and further out into interstellar space, eventually it will see the magnetic field that's no longer affected by these protective boundaries. And that point, roughly a decade from now, will be when Voyager really enters what we call pristine interstellar space. Now we're able to put together a picture of the magnetic field in the galaxy that tells us where we are in the galaxy. It tells us how cosmic rays get to us. These, these magnetic fields become like super highways for cosmic rays. And it tells us how that magnetic field affects the protective boundaries around our, our space environment.